But if we go to the front of the Australian, it's very clear that the government is now really trying to get onto the front foot when it comes to dealing with this. Morrison's clinical reaction. Clever headline. Uh, Cabinet has approved a $2.4 billion medical response to the coronavirus outbreak that will include more than 100 fever clinics rolled out across the country and allow people experiencing symptoms to stay home and charge GP audio and video calls to Medicare. The emergency health package will be in addition to the multi-billion dollar economic stimulus package which was approved by Cabinet on Tuesday night and is expected to be announced on Thursday. Lisa Goddard, uh, this is a measured and as the uh, Australian says, a clinical approach to this particular story and of course uh, there's much, much more to roll out in relation to uh, stimulus packages on Thursday. Gleeson, this comes after on Friday the government met with 70 or so uh, health officials and health experts in Canberra to look at how they were going to tackle this from a public health perspective. You, you're looking at doctors you know, facing uh, you know, huge numbers of calls to their clinics from people who are concerned that they've got the virus. As you say, we're now going to see these pop-up clinics for testing. Uh, the problem here is we're already seeing on a number of these front pages, which we'll no doubt go through tonight, where we have people waiting up to five hours for a test. We have you know, one hospital in Sydney where there were 250 people lined up before the doors opened at this hospital, before 8 o'clock this morning, just to get tested. So there is a real concern you know, out there in the community that you know, anyone who has a fever, a sore throat, a cough, that they have contracted coronavirus. And at the moment, the only people who are really being urged to be tested are those who have either travelled, as you know, or have been in contact with someone who has been diagnosed with it.